So even though you guys may know how to edit pretty well, or you may be a beginner, a lot of people struggle with creating presets and they don't even know how to make them in the first place. So that's why in DaVinci Resolve, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your very own presets because this will allow you to improve your workflow, increase the speed that it takes for you to edit a completed video, and ultimately just become a better rounded editor. But if you guys do enjoy, you learn something, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let's get right into the video. Okay, so quickly before the tutorial, starts I want to quickly mention my editing packs that I have available right now basically I have two different tiers of editing pack we have my five dollar editing pack which is for beginners that only want to spend five dollars it's super budget friendly and it has literally everything you could ever need for Fortnite montages content any other gaming montages etc there's a ton of motion graphics in there subtitle presets Fortnite presets I'm gonna leave you guys a link for that but if you guys didn't see I just recently released my 2024 editing pack which is basically that pack but updated I have so much more content related stuff. So if you are a YouTuber and upcoming content creator, you definitely need to check that pack out. One's $5, one's $10. If you did buy my previous pack and you enjoyed it, I definitely recommend that you take the next step and buy the $10 pack. It's so worth it. But I don't want to go on any longer. If you guys want to check out the announcement video where I go over everything in the pack, be sure to go check that out. That'll be at the top of the description. Links to both packs are going to be at the top of the description as well. Let's get right into the tutorial. All right. So starting off, we are inside of DaVinci right now. What we're going to do is we're just going to press new project and we're going to type in presets or something along that nature. So once we're inside our project, first thing we're going to do, go to the edit tab, go to file, go to project settings, change the frame rate from 24 to 60. And then we're going to just, you know, leave our resolution on whatever the resolution of the preset that we're going to be using is. So probably 1920 by 1080. Now I quickly want to show you how to use presets before I show you how to make them, because I do have an edit pack that I did talk about in the intro so if you guys just want to go check that out you can i got a ton of presets in there so that'll be super useful if you end up you know following along with this tutorial and yeah so right here we got our sample feet piece of footage for example and let's say i wanted to apply you know one of my transition presets between two different videos so let's say i have my two different videos right here i'm just gonna use this ps4 controller or ps5 controller as an example but let's just say we want to use one of my transition presets so what you're always going to do for a preset you're going to be using adjustment layers literally nine out of ten times instead of applying it directly to the clip so just drag in your adjustment layer this is going to be your base layer for literally any preset that you're going to be creating you're going to go into the fusion tab which is where all of our preset work is going to be done we're going to go to wherever we have the preset that save to drag it in and you literally just can drag it in now from there you press shift and drag and drop it into there um, i'm going to be talking more about keyframes in the future when i talk about you know saving presets and all that um, but this is just kind of the gist of how you do it you click on keyframes press this arrow thing and i don't know if you guys can see this little notch right here but if we expand this it's a lot easier to see we're just going to drag that over to where our playhead is and then once we actually press that again we'll be able to expand it drag it within the area um, and then we'll just have to press the keyframe now navigator right here to actually um, add a marker and then we'll line that up but that's just kind of how you use presets kind of if I were to just explain it in you know a minute kind of thing from a super surface level that is how you do that now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be explaining you how to make the presets now so starting off like I said we're going to be using an adjustment clip and this adjustment clip is going to last however long you want the preset to last or the effect to last so for example let's say we're doing a glow preset and it's going to be affecting the entire clip we're going to make it last the entire clip we're going to go into the fusion tab and then what we're going to do since our keyframe menu is popped up we're going to get rid of it we're going to press control space and we're going to type in any of the effects that we want to use so i'm going to be using glow because i'm going to be using a glow so we can either use the davinci resolve glow sapphire glow for the sake of this video since not everyone has sapphire i'm just gonna use the normal davinci now this applied to it directly all we got to do is just adjust the settings to whatever we want so let's say we want this little glow here this little glow effect doesn't look the best not something i would use but just as an example all you got to do is right click on glow go to settings go to save as and then we are literally just going to make a folder on our pc just like this called presets and we're just going to go in there save it it's that simple now if we were to go out of here delete it and then what we were to do is if we were to go over to where we just saved that preset to preset dragon glow one we can see that it works perfectly and this applies to literally any clip if we go here we add an adjustment clip to the second clip go here go into it drag and drop again our presets working so that's literally how you do presets so just as an example when it comes to keyframing and keyframing effects that's where it might get tricky and i'm going to quickly show you for example 
with one of my Fortnite effects just on a normal clip just for the sake of this video. So if we come here, we go to DaVinci. Let's just say we have this pink impact one. I'm going to go into the fusion tab right here. If we drag in pink impact just like this, we can see that the effect is consistent and it's not keyframed, which is not what we want. We want it to be keyframe. So again, like I mentioned before, keyframe menu is going to be your best friend. Press a little arrow thing and we can see these little notches right here are where our keyframes are. So we can expand these little drop downs right here and we're actually going to be individually dragging these all over drag it over drag it over and drag it over now we're going to press the expansion thing you're going to have to kind of do this time and time again you're just going to adjust it to the desired location so for this they need to start at the beginning of the clip end at the end of the clip that should be pretty good um yeah that is literally that so we can see that now our effect is keyframe so that's how you do that anyways bit on the shorter side of the tutorial but if you guys did enjoy this video you learned something make sure to like comment subscribe it's always a helpful you know skill to learn how to utilize presets fully especially in davinci resolve not a lot of people talk about it the same way that they do with after effects or premiere but you can definitely save presets in davinci it's a great way to save a lot of time on your projects me myself especially editing all of my content literally all the videos you watch on my channel they're edited in davinci resolve so i use a lot of presets in my transitions all that stuff just go try it out let me know how it goes if you guys have any questions leave them for me down below in the comments i think 75 percent of you guys are still not subscribed to the channel yet so make sure to drop me a sub so close to 100,000 subscribers. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.